there's a little magic that happens when I'm working um, where I feel like I'm getting closer to myself, my personality. And that's when I'll see a color and shape that is so appealing to me, I won't be true to what's in front of it. I'll want to accentuate what I'm seeing because I really feel like it's taking the art to another level. And for me, I see it. For other people, they may not quite understand it or it may look a little bit naive to them. Um, and it's because I've sacrificed, you know, maybe the real impression that's there for what the impression was for me and how I see it. And I really do see colour very vibrantly. It's very, very strong for me. Um, it can be overwhelming, it's so strong sometimes. And that's probably uh, an advantage because what might look ordinary to someone is absolutely singing to me and I just have to paint it. So, you know, that, that really does influence my um, landscapes and outdoor work. My name is Caroline Goldsmith and I'm a plein air artist. But when I was in first grade, um, I think I fell in love with the process of drawing and my teacher recognised that and she sent home a report card saying Caroline loves colour and line and I think that was a pinnacle point for me in my life. <laughs> it's seven. <laughs> My personal and professional background has contributed to my career as an artist a whole lot. I came from a family of artists and I'm surrounded by them um, and so the influence is to do art all the time. I worked um, as a graphic designer for many years. I got an art apprenticeship when I was 18 and that's how I learnt the, um, the skill of graphic design. I worked um, in the old way with a rapidograph pen and wax and all that so it was very hands-on stuff. Um, I actually did some drawing and um, illustration work as well and then as computers took over I guess I went more down the, the just the production path and really enjoyed my expression with my artwork outside of work. I've actually left the graphic design field and I'm painting full-time now um, and it's going very well and I very much enjoy it. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much my whole life. <laughs> my favorite subject matter is um, being outdoors and whatever captures my eye. It might not necessarily have to be a landscape, it can really be anything but there's got to be a little pop of something going on that will catch my eye and then my imagination will take that and work, you know, a design, um, a composition and if I feel like it would work then I would absolutely paint it and quite often it's out in nature, I just love being outdoors so, you know, a byproduct of that is I'll probably produce a landscape, um, sometimes an urban scape. To get inspired to go out and paint, um, I won't be inspired, I'll just, it's like, okay, it's these are the hours where the lights are good, I need to get out there and get working. And that's, you know, from 8 to 10 in the morning or from 3 to 5 or later in the afternoon. And so I'll think of a place um, ahead of time and then usually on my way though, there'll be something that'll stop me that I will see and I will do that. Um, the process of setting up is um, important to me because it helps my mind think okay now you're painting now you're you know you're going into this place where you go and you paint and it just helps bring me to that magical space I guess um, and then for the studio work it's all about the palette I have a big glass slab and I always leave it dirty so when I have to start to paint Part of the process is that I clean the slab and lay out my paint again and that helps bring me into that place and thinking about what I'm about to do and I really try and think about every brush stroke, every mark I make. Um, it's, it's 
it's not accidental. There's an intention behind it. Um, and I focus on that every single time. And sometimes I find I get tired um, and I, I have to stop myself because I do not want to be just plodding along. It, it has to be meaningful. Um, and then there's times where I'll keep working, I've got such a fire going and it'll be getting later and later and later, you know, and eventually I realize it's two in the morning and the painting's nearly all done and I'm happy, but maybe my family isn't, so, but you know, that happens and they understand, they're very supportive. I love dockyards, I love ships. Um, there's a tie to my father with them. I um, bonded with my father working on his um, yacht um, many years ago when we had to clean it up um, from being in the water, you'd put it up on the slips and he gave me the job of working on the dinghy and sanding the mast. Well, I did a very good job and he was very happy with me and that was a big bonding moment for me. So whenever I see a shipyard, I just have to paint it because it reminds me of my dad and our bond and um, I just really enjoy the large graphic shapes of the ships too against the landscape. It's really fun to paint those in acrylics with those cards that I like to use. Painting funnels, decks and portholes. This uh, painting I did recently actually and um, it's from some resource material I had when I went up to Kalamazoo and there was a big old US Coast Guard painting up there, a uh, ship up there and I just was delighted and surprised to see it right there in the harbour and they had it all decked out actually for Halloween. It was hysterical. They had <laughs> <laughs> they had someone hanging from the you know the mast and I'm like wow so I took lots of photos and and I came back and January when you typically don't go out and paint here in Illinois I will start one of those and I thought oh I've got to do this one and um, the, the painting came together pretty quickly um, and I obviously didn't show the, the, Hall the Halloween stuff going on. <laughs> Did some editing with that, but I just really enjoy the graphic shapes again, you know, with the, what was happening with the funnels vertical and the decks and then the round circles of the portholes and, and how it was all coming together and I, I really enjoy them as a platform with my acrylic work and textures and colour again. The advantages for me with working outside is one, I love being outside and so that has to come through with my work and the feelings of beauty and joy and awe are important in my work that they come out so I think um, that helps um, and also the subject matter it's always varied and interesting and um, there's lots that I see more every day and there's just not I'm worried that there's not enough days in my life to paint everything I see. I was doing a painting um, in Lodge Park and I think I was there six, six Saturday mornings I think from 8 to 10 and or was it Sunday mornings maybe there's a jogger that would come through the park every time and he would see me and on the last day I was painting there he just he had to say something and he's like haven't you finished that painting yet <laughs> I'm pretty sure he thought I was there all day every day <laughs> so that was pretty funny <laughs> The Blossoms and Ivy at uh, Allerton Garden War. I painted that um, the first day that I was not working full time as a graphic designer. And it was so wonderful. It was a beautiful day um, and it just came together just click, 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 click. It was really um, an enjoyable painting to do. The Blossoms, it was um, spring and the Blossoms were just budding and they just showed to me promise of my new career painting full time and I'm like oh I like this painting and uh, yeah very, yeah it's very, very enjoyable. Sunsinger at Allerton Park I painted um, over three sittings and 
I thought I was going to go bananas because the light on that statue changes much quicker than every two hours. It sort of every 30 minutes the light changes on that statue. So it was actually difficult to paint in the process that I'm used to. I, and I just thought it's such a landmark around here, it would be a shame not to paint it. I paint out at Allerton Park a lot and so, you know, I'm hoping to paint every single statue out there by the time I'm finished. <laughs> Last year I decided to enter into a wet paint competition where it's a quick paint sorry um, and it was up at Woodstock and it was a lot of fun except it was pouring rain like pouring and you have the time frame from 9 to 12 when the competition's on so rain or shine away you go <laughs> and so I set up and thought it was going to be a lovely flower store a lovely you know to paint and you have a time where you have to have your canvas stamped on the back and you have two and a half hours to produce a framed painting back at the start where you register so wow. it's quite a frantic crazy <laughs> experience and you add rain to that and it's just very amusing <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> well you know the 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 it's now titled ode to the van it was going to be something like Woodstock Flower Store. My husband, for his work, has to use a van. He has a white, big white van and he travels all over the country in this big white van. And it made me think of him when I saw the florist hiding in her big white van. I was thinking of my husband. <laughs> so that's why I called it Ode to the Van. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a little rough that one. You can see it. Yeah. it it's uh, definitely a quick paint and, and uh, I think I, I also cut myself short half an hour. I started to think about the time and I panicked and I stopped after an hour or something of painting and I ran to my car and I'm like, pour, like it's just pouring. You can't do umbrella or anything in that condition. So I had a coat over the, the painting. I had the painting upside down and I was holding it gingerly on the sides and I had to run a block to my car and then uh, frame it under the hood of my car. <laughs> It was just hysterical, but it made it and it made the show. The thinking about art and how I'm developing, um, I feel like I'm on a cusp of, do I go a little more abstract or do I still chase the impressionist? So I'm quite excited to see where my artwork's gonna go in the next year or two as I'm painting every single day. Um, just to see which way it goes because that fascination of shape and colour um, and the naivety, that, that joy, that fun, bounce, um, however that plays, um, I don't know if I can get as far as I want to as an impressionist with it. So I'm just interested to see what's going to happen with my work in the future. I'm exploring uh, the, the, I guess, the power of value with color amplified um, and the mark making with it as well um, in an impressionist form right now.